Hi, welcome to my tutorial about how to use drop zones in Final Cut Pro. First, I want to let you know what version of Final Cut Pro I'm using, and this is version 10.4.8. And the operating system I'm using on my Mac is OS Catalina 10.15.3, and these are the specs on my computer. So it used to be that in order to use the drop zones, you would have to create compound clips that match exactly the same start and end point of your generator with the drop zones. So it was a tedious process to go through and create all these little compound clips, especially if you have multiple videos layered together. You had to create all these little clips and put them into your drop zones. I noticed at some point that I did not need to make the compound clips anymore because magically they started working in my drop zones but you have to follow some specific guidelines. So that's what I'm going to show you, and it's really actually quite easy. So to start with, I'm going to drop my pre-mixed audio into the project, and notice that I have left a lot of space ahead of the audio just to have some extra space for the clips that I'm going to put in. This is raw video footage, unedited, of me singing this part, so I have to manually line it up here. Actually, there's a way you can do it not manually, but I'm just going to do it manually right now. Um, that's pretty close. Okay, so now I'm making sure that it's all synced up, and I always take the audio from the video out and delete that because I don't need that audio. All right, here's another version of the same video clip, but this one is fully edited. And I made this clip when I edited it. I exported it to have the same start point as the audio file. Now I'm going to drop in one of my favorite drop zones. This is called Video Wall. This is a text, not a generator. I'm going to line up the playhead so that it is at the very beginning, and then I look for some drop zones, click on the drop zone, and I'm going to click exactly on my video clip exactly where that drop zone starts. I'm going to do that for both of these clips. Now, what I want you to notice is that the two videos, which are supposed to be exactly the same, they are not matching right now. And the reason for that is because this clip was not all the way stretched to its beginning. I had cut it short, and that messed with the sync of my drop zone. So in order to make this work correctly, you have to make sure your video is all the way stretched out on the timeline. Now I'm going to re-enter it, click exactly at the start point, hit apply and now as I scrub through you can see that these two videos are now synced together. So now I'm going to stretch it back to where I had it and let's create a compound clip this time. Now I'm going to line up the playhead again at the start of the drop zone clip. Get rid of that one. Click in it again and now I'm going to click at the beginning of the drop zone clip. And this time, now they are synced together. So creating that compound clip to have the same start time as, as my audio clip, that seemed to do the trick. Now I'm just going to add another drop zone for fun just to make sure that Everything's still working. Got the playhead lined up at the beginning. I'm going to pick a drop zone, click on the video at the same start point as the drop zone, do that for both of them, hit apply, and they are synced together. Mm -hmm. 